All right, guys, what's going on? My name is Luis. Today is October 9, 2020, and welcome to the Grand Supreme News Channel. So, guys, we got some update news, and it says here, Hurricane Delta starts lashing Texas and Louisiana. Please send prayers to many people in Texas and Louisiana. Right now, it's 105 miles per hour, and it's moving 12, uh, 100 mile, 105 miles per hour, and it's moving at 12 miles miles per hour so i want to take you straight to the national hurricane center give you guys some updates and then i will start reading the article now let me just refresh the page see if we got any more updates as of right now delta is basically making landfall and it says here that uh, maximum sustained winds is at 110 miles per hour it was 105. I should have showed you guys that part. 110 miles per hour, and it's moving right now at 14 miles per hour. So it had it has increased. It's it's a shocking surprise because usually when it reaches uh, landfall, it actually decreases. So let me take you and down here really quick and um, kind of give you guys a better update. So here we go. So as of 1 p.m. Friday, uh, that's where it was. And it's basically made land, uh, landfall. I do believe so. Okay. Uh, let me take you to uh, just one more part. And I will take you straight to the article. Number one, life-threatening storm surge is expected near and east of where Delta make landfall this evening. And a storm surge. So this evening. So uh, again, according to many people out there, uh, they uh, they are feeling all the wind, and uh, it, it just it's coming in. It's coming in, and I do believe that it made uh, the tip landfall. All right. So uh, landfall in this evening, and a storm surge warning is in effect from I from High Island, Texas, to the mouth of the Pearl River. The highest inundation of 7 to 11 feet is expected somewhere between Rockefeller Wildlife Refuge and Morgan City, Louisiana. Water levels in this area will rise quickly this afternoon and even as Hurricane Delta approaches and efforts to protect life and property should be rushed to completion. Number two, hurricane forces winds are expected this afternoon and evening within portion of the hurricane warning area, especially along the coast of southwest Louisiana. So her, uh, hurricane forces winds will also spread inland across portion of southern Louisiana near the path of Delta Center this evening and tonight. Number three, heavy rain, rainfall will lead to significant flash flood flooding and minor to major river flooding in parts of Louisiana today and Saturday. Additional flooding is expected across portion of the central Gulf Coast into the lower Mississippi Valley. Okay, so let's head straight to the article, uh, see some updates before I start guys. Give this video a thumbs up. Share this video with your friends, families, and loved ones. I appreciate the love and support. And for those of you that want to contribute to this channel, once again, the PayPal link and the Patreon link is in the description box. I truly apologize, guys. Give me one second here. Let me just kind of fix this. There we go. Okay, so it says here, bringing a life-threatening surge of seawater which could hit communities miles inland, according to forecasters. As the storm moves north, some areas in Louisiana could get a foot of rain. The hurricane is threatening the same region that was devastated by Hurricane Laura just six weeks ago. Wow, it's been six weeks? Wow, that was quick. So recovering from the Category 4 storm will likely be set back by weeks. To the people of Southwest Louisiana, I know you are strong. I also know you're about to be tested again. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards tweeted Thursday, Please finish making preparation now. We will get, th uh, we will get through this. Earlier this week, the hurricane barreled through the Mexican resort areas of Cozumel and the Cancun, 
where it caused some street to collapse and knocked out powers to hundreds of, of thousands of homes and businesses. Please send prayer, guys. We have a prayer wall link in the description box. If you guys want to leave prayers, just click on that link. It will take you straight to the prayer wall. Uh, we need more prayers, not less. We need a lot of prayer, guys. Hurricane Delta uh, presses pause on Hurricane Laura repairs. For residents in Hurricane Delta path, the destruction a hurricane can wreck is nothing new. Just six weeks ago, uh, just six weeks earlier, Hurricane Laura touched down in the United States, devoting homes in southern Louisiana. Iowa, a small town in Louisiana, is bracing for the effects of Delta and houses that still bear the marks of Laura. Wayne uh, Bert, Bertrand, an Iowa resident, has watched his neighborhood scattered from the storm leaving behind patchwork houses, one still relying on generator power. It's not frustrating, Bertrand told the news. It's sad to me. While Bertrand uh, and his family will be staying in their home for the storm, other residents have decided to leave the storm's path. So a lot of people have decided to leave. So Earl, I mean, I'm just going to say Earl, has spent the weeks uh, since Laura rebuilding his home, uh, which is still not complete. His wife, who came home once the house was livable, has evacuated. Since August the 27th, she's been here three days and told KLFY. Three days and now she's gone again. I know it's really tough. It's really tough for many people out there, especially people building their houses. It's just really tough because, uh, again, um, Louisiana, Alabama, Mississippi, them areas, they see hailstorm, uh, they see hurricanes, uh, they see uh, tornadoes, and it's just so hard. And, you know, not only that, guys, farmlands is also being destroyed and wrecked. Delta's weakens to Category 2 storm. Hurricane Delta has weakened to a powerful Category 2 storm with 110 miles per hour winds, according to the National Hurricane Center. The storm is expected to make landfall on Louisiana coast Friday afternoon. Forecaster said the storm is expected to weaken before landfall and further weaken, weaken after the storm center move inland. They caution that the storm is still dangerous and life-threatening. Storm surge is expected within the next few hours. So President Donald Trump says FEMA is ready to respond. President Donald Trump on Friday said that the Federal Emergency Management Agency is prepared to respond to Hurricane Delta, which is expected to make landfall on Louisiana coast Friday afternoon. Just got a briefing on Hurricane Delta rushing towards Louisiana and Mississippi. President Donald Trump tweeted Friday, FEMA is there and ready. Over 100 dogs rescued from Hurricane's path. Organization are working to rescue dogs away from the path of Hurricane Delta. The nonprofit group Wings of Rescue saved 103 dogs, transporting them from Louisiana to El Cajon, San Diego, according to the news. The dogs will arrive at several shelters across San Diego, including the San Diego Humane Society, the Rancho Coastal Humane Society, and the Chula Vista Animal Care Facility. If we in San Diego are not taking action. A lot of these pets don't have any future. John Van Zanten of the Rancho Coastal Humane Society told the station, These shelters are always crowded. Now we are in an emergency situation where you have hundreds and thousands of more pets coming in. They just don't have room for them. So continue to pray, guys, even for the animals. God created animals. Animals are very important in our life. So I just want to give thanks to the society, to Humane Society for taking the dogs. And, you know, continue praying, guys. Louisiana will stay in phase three to prevent uh, the COVID spread of 
after hurricane. Louisiana Governor John Bell Edwards has extended the state's phase number three protection until November 3rd. Louisiana was moved to phase three in September following two separate spikes in cases. Phase four was scheduled to begin in the state on October 9th. However, Edwards wants to keep Louisiana current low case count the standard, especially as the community continued to recover from the hurricanes. The continuation of phase three means Louisiana statewide mask mandate will stay in place for at least 28 more days. The only changes to the reopening plans concern alcohol sales, which are now allowed at sporting events in qualifying parishes and open bars. We know that as schools return to in-person learning, restaurants and bars open even more widely and even more, uh, excuse me, and more even begins, more events begins. There is more risk to spreading cove, Edward said in a statement. I also remain incredibly concerned about how Hurricane Delta will impact our ability to operate community testing and also display people in ways that may lead to spread. Hurricane Delta is set to make landfall in Louisiana in the next several hours. Let's skip that. Delta is expected to make landfall Friday afternoon. Now, we kind of uh, actually talked about this, guys, so let me kind of skip that one. Louisiana police chief warns resident they might not be able to help during storms. Oh, wow. So the police chief in Church Point, Louisiana, is warning residents that emergency responders may not be able to reach them with hurricane force winds hit the town. When the winds get above 40 miles per hour, I have my units go to the stationary position and stay there because I don't want them rolling around with things flying. This is coming out for Chief Dale said according to news i am not i'm not going to sacrifice my officer's safety the police chief warned resident that fire officials and other fi- uh, first responders will also pull all units off the roads when wind winds rises or rise to 35 to 45 mile per hour we're not saying you don't need to be rescued but we can't sacrifice four or five lives to try to rescue to go rescue you and it caused four or five lives. That's why we are trying to warn everybody now, if you're not in a stable structure, find a place that is stable. If you're in a low-lying area, maybe go stay at somebody's house until this is over. Stay in somebody's house, but you got this cold thing going on that you don't want people to interact. So I don't get it. So if someone is out there and they need help, uh, <clears throat> they need uh, uh, law enforcement to go out there and help. So, it is a hurricane, and most people are going to be in a really tough situation. So, you mean to tell me uh, that law enforcement is not going to be there? They need to be there. I know it's really tough, but that's what they're, uh, again, that's their job, to take action and put their life on the line for uh, for the community. So, you can just, I mean, you cannot just say, hey, you know, uh, you guys won't be able to get help. No, you can't say that. People need help. Hello, it's a it's a hurricane, so uh, people uh, people is gonna be calling. All right, let me just skip this one here too, guys, because we already know about that. Okay, um, once again, guys, I'm trying to skip a lot of these. All right, so once again, um, when it comes to hurricanes, we already know that you must stay out, uh, off roads. But there's still going to be a lot of people out there that's going to, you know, take the chance. Homes damaged by Laura. So we're going to uh, skip that one. And I truly apologize, guys. This is a long article. So I'm not trying to blow my lungs here. So curfew set in Louisiana. This is very important. Parts of Louisiana are already under curfew or will have curfews in place over the next day as the eye of the hurricane uh, Delta moves closer to the coast. Lafayette City and Paris curfew is scheduled to begin at 4 p.m. local time on Friday, so that was one hour ago, and remain in place until 8 a.m. Saturday only. Essential and emergency personnel are permitted to travel between these hours, according to news. I can understand that part. The city of New Iberia has issued a citywide curfew over the two nights between the hours of 10 p.m. and 6 a.m. 
Not bad. Uh, overnight, overnight, Thursday and Friday, St. Laundry Parish curfew and St. Martin Parish curfew will go into an effect on Friday at noon. At noon? Oh, man. Running through 8 a.m. Saturday, a Paris wide curfew will go into effect for Acadia Paris from dusk Friday until dawn until further notice. Curfews are also currently in effect in Jeff Davis Paris, Valley uh, Plate, and Marwise uh, KLFY reported. Okay, we're going to skip some of this because I already showed you guys this. Latest list warnings. The following warnings from the National Hurricane Center were in effect as of Friday. Okay, I already talked about this one too, guys. At the very beginning, I already talked about that. So what is this? So Delta's rain bands were spreading into southwestern Louisiana and southeastern Texas early Friday morning as the storm continued to move north in the Gulf before its expected landfall later Friday, the National Hurricane Center said. The storm was located about 160 miles south of Cameron, Louisiana at 7 a.m. local time, moving north at 12 miles per hour. All right, so... The Louisiana, uh, Louisiana Governor John L. Edward had a message Thursday night for residents in the southwest part of the state. I know you are strong. So we're going to skip this. It's basically mostly all repeats. Okay, so uh, the big one right now is that the storm is 110 miles per hour and it's moving 12 miles per hour. There has been a curfew put in place. They haven't spoke anything about any shelters. So I was hoping for shelters updates for to help many of you, but... Uh, once again, um, you know, if you can try to stay in a friend house, that's what they're recommending. Uh, be prepared and be ready. Uh, very important, guys. I've been talking about this in my new channel that, you know, in the, what, two, three days ago, that it's time to be prepared. You know, people are still recovering from Hurricane Laura. And you guys already seen what Laura has done, and now they have to face Delta. And from what I heard, there's a possibility another storm. I'm not saying it's going to happen, but uh, again, there is another storm here that, you know, might form. We don't know. But uh, hurricane season, we still have eight weeks left. Look at this one. So as of 2 p.m. Eastern Time, Friday, October 9, a westward moving tropical wave located several hundred miles southwest of the Cabo Verde Island continued to produce disorganized showers and few thunderstorm uh, so environmental condition could be conductive uh, conductive excuse me for some slow development of the tropical uh, excuse me the system this weekend or early next week while it is located over the tropical Atlantic well east of the lesser Antilles so once again this is way too early guys don't need to worry about that uh, so right now, continue to pray for Louisiana, western part of Texas, Mississippi, New Orleans, uh, because it is going to make landfall and this curfew put in place. All right, guys, we have a prayer wall link. If you guys want to leave prayers to many people out there, um, uh, please pray. Uh, we have the prayer wall link in the description box. For those of you that want to give your life to Christ, you can email me. My email is in the description box. Me and my wife are here to help many. And to lead many to the righteous path, and that's the path of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. For those of you that want to send us letters or pray, we cry, so you can send it to me, Louis Santiago, or my wife, Jessica Santiago, P.O. Box number 23432, U.S. Highway 19, Holiday, Florida, 34691. And for those of you that want to contribute to this channel, once again, we have the PayPal link and the Patreon link in the description box. Thank you so much for watching, guys. God bless you all. Give your light to Jesus Christ and get baptized. We are living in tough time. Till next time later. Peace.